This is exercise 19.1.1a, creating a table from scratch, and 19.1.2a, editing a table's properties. I'm in the floor plan data sheet drawing file in the steps lesson 19 folder. I will set the text layer current to get started and begin. You can enter the table command by typing table. Alternately, you can type TB as the hotkeys, or you can pick table from the annotative tool palette. AutoCAD starts by asking you where do you want to put your table. We'll put it at absolute coordinates 1, 16. Now you'll notice that as I move my crosshairs, the table adjusts by the number of rows and columns. We're going to set our rows and columns to four rows and it looks like we're going to get an extra data column and that's okay. By default AutoCAD starts its text editor and it opens the title bar for input. We'll call this our symbols legend. Hit the tab key to go to the to the first of the header row. Here we'll enter our headers. Hopefully be able to type properly. Then we can pick anywhere outside of the table to stop what we're doing and remember occasionally to save our file. Moving on to the next exercise, 19.1.2a, editing, uh, editing a table's properties. First let's change the text style. We'll pick once in the title row. Now holding down the shift key, we'll pick once in the header row. And AutoCAD highlights both rows so whatever we do will affect both of them. We will go to the Properties Inspector and change the text style from Standard to Calibri Bold, like so. Notice that AutoCAD makes our changes. Okay, we'll close the Table Editor. Now let's adjust the column sizes. We'll pick once in here. We'll take the grip and move it over like so. We will do the same with this cell, this column, like so. Click outside to close the editor. Now we actually need several more rows, so we'll pick inside the bottom row here and in our on our visor we will tell AutoCAD to insert more rows. One. So we have six rows all together. Now close our drawing Let's change the background color to our table. We'll select once in the title, hold down the shift key, once in the bottom row. AutoCAD selects the entire table. We'll go to the Properties Inspector and select a background color suitable for what we're trying to do. Let's try blue. That looks nice. Close the table editor and save the drawing. 